Next question is 25 year old man is brought to the emergency department by ambulance after falling from 20 feet ladder. He was placed on backboard for spinal stabilization. IV access was obtained and he received infusion of crystalloid. The patient is unconscious upon arrival and his blood pressure is 90 by 50. So it's hypotensive patient. The pulse is 129 and respiratory rate is 8 per minute. So this is a hypovolemic shock, not a neurogenic shock because in neurogenic shock you would have got bradycardia. So this is a hypovolemic shock. Pulse oximetry is 85. The evaluation shows. So saturation is a bit falling. There are no periorbital, periauricular hematomas and there is no significant neck edema. What is the next step of management? Always remember whenever we have a trauma patient, before we do anything, we have to follow the concept of securing airway and spine securing airway and spine now spine the patient has been placed on the black back hard board for the spine stabilization what about the airway for airway you require orotracheal intubation in this case so orotracheal intubation should be the next which is done and after this you will follow anything so we secure airway and spine because this is the most common cause of mortality Remember, whenever we have a patient of trauma, whenever we have a patient of trauma, the basic concept in the ER is that we do a patient survey. Remember, when we talk about the patient survey, patient survey and resuscitation, resuscitation, they always go parallel. So, we are going to do resuscitation and the patient survey. Patient survey is of two types. One is the primary survey, which is done at the time of arrival in the ER and we have the secondary survey which is done after the hemodynamic stabilization. According to this concept, we follow the concept of after securing airway and cervical spine. After securing airway and cervical spine, we start, we start with A, B, C, D, E. So this is assessment of airway, breathing, circulation, disability and exposure. Why they are important? We need to need to rule out. The aim is to rule out any emergency condition which can be life threatening. To rule out any life threatening injury. Now what is the concept of secondary survey? This is done post hemodynamic stabilization. Now why it is done post hemodynamic stabilization? The logic is that we want to furnish information which can modify the outcome. So how this is done? This is secondary survey if you talk about, secondary survey that we talk about is ample. What do you mean by ample? We have to talk about the allergies. So we have to take it out from the history that whether patient is allergic to any drug or no. M for medication, M for medication, P for past medical history, past medical history, if you are dealing with a female patient, pregnancy status, L for the last meal because patient might require a surgical intervention also and E is the event of trauma. So this is how we approach these patients.